everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name's Amber. If you don't know me, if you do know me, you know my name's Amber. Today I'm going to be doing some makeup. Finally! I haven't done makeup in ages because I just haven't gone anywhere or done anything. I think it's kind of pointless, but I am going to do some makeup for you guys today. Today I'm doing a look based on my little headscarf here. A friend Elise asked me on Instagram if I was doing a makeup look to my head wrap and I was like, no, why? And she was like, I think it'd look really cool if you did and I was like, you're right about that. So if you would like to see my look based on this head wrap, then just keep on watching. So first I'm gonna take the P. Louise base in shade two and apply that all over my lids. I like to give the P. Louise base a few minutes to sort its scent out, to like dry a little tiny bit. I always get a crease in the crease of my eye. So I wait a few minutes, let it settle a little bit, let that little crease make its debut, and then I repat it so that the crease is just gone. It's been a few, as you can see. I don't know if you can see, but as you can see, like I've got two lines and I like to just do, 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 on those bad boys. And then I find that after that I, it doesn't happen again, so I don't need to wait or anything like that. I can just go straight in with my colours now. So for this look I'm going to be using the Unique Beauty Neon, uh, Neon Palette. I think it's called that. I'm not really sure. I couldn't look online because the website's not up until the 14th of April. They have actually rebranded and they're not selling like they're mostly going to be selling eyelashes and I'm totally going to buy loads of pairs so I can try them bad boys but they don't sell this anymore okay first I'm going to go into this what am I going to do first okay, it has to be blue light blue and red so dark blue it is and then I'm just going to oh yes that blue come on unique beauty please don't get rid of this palette I want to buy another one I want to buy another one if I don't know man, I just want to buy another one. Look at the pigment on this bad boy. I love it. Love that. Love that so much. And I'm just going to blend, 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 blend. I'm going to get the lighter blue here and just blend that dark blue out. Then I'm going to go back into the darker blue. And just give that a little bit more... I don't know, blend. Let's just keep blending. Just keep blending until it's done. Blend, 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 blend. I honestly think that's blended enough, but <laughs> sometimes I look on the camera and I'm just like, where, what happened? What the fuck happened there? I think this suits this very well. Like, that is very close to that colour. I'm gonna take this yellow. I'm always dipping into this yellow right here and just finish that off around there even though it's not in the same theme as um what's it called my headband it just finishes the look off for me and i'm not going to put any in the center because that's not the look i'm going for we just take this blue again and give it its own right as a color there's nothing more that upsets me than when you lose a colour. It's just too, too much, it's just too much. What I'm gonna do is take a clean brush and dip right into this black here, right at the bottom. And I'm going to, regrettably, do some of this. I don't, I've never, I don't like doing this, I really don't, but it needs more depth. Quick, quick, emergency blue. I think, I think, I hope, I hope that's nice. So I'm gonna take the P. Louise base again and then I'm going to cut my Marma crease. Okay, now that I've finished that, I'm going to go into this black and just put that right in the inner corner of my eyelid ball, whatever it's bloody called. And then I'm gonna take the darkest blue and that's the next color to kind of transition it out. What's happening here like? And now I'm going to take the red. This red here, that looks, I don't know, that looks more like an orange to me. Okay, I'm gonna take this small ass brush 
that's a technical term for it as well, just so you guys know. <laughs> I'm just gonna dip into the red and do the edges first because that's the bit I always fuck up on. We're going to take a bigger brush and then we get, hmm, we'll get the blue, the light blue. Now start mixing those together. <laughs> To say this palette only cost ten pounds, this is so one of the like one of the best pigments I own, to be honest, in my opinion. Like, can, do you see that? Do you see that? Because I do. Well, I can just see that, but when I get really close, I can see that. <laughs> okay, okay, well, okay. Now I'm going to take my butter black base by B. Louise, ha uh ha, -huh. and I'm going to. Do my eyeliner with it because the eyeliner I do have, which is up there, the I I I I Captain one, this one right here, it is just really bad now. I don't know why it's so trash now. It used to be really good. I'm gonna lick this. If you think it's gross, and go get some damn water. Uh. Yeah, I'm only gonna take the eyeliner to the outer corner of the eye and then stop. I'm not going to do no flick because we've got this black here, which I don't think it looks right if you put a flick on this black. You know what I'm really liking the look of at the moment? Those, um, when people do their eyeliner but it goes downwards. I put a picture of a girl who I specifically like it when she does it. And I just think it looks really amazing on her and I wish I could do it like that. But the other day I did it and... The only colour I have a quarrel with in this Unique Beauty palette is this black. I need a blacker black and I'm going to turn it to my Ofra Triple Black Single Pan. Yes, I only have one pan in here. Oh my god, it's everywhere! Look at all that! I'm going to take this fat brush. This is not my brush, this is Leah Walker's brush. Sorry Leah, but I really like this brush. See, look at that! How, do you not, how can anybody not like this brush? I'm sorry Leah, I'm so sorry I stole this brush from you. So that's the first eye done. I'm going to go off camera for the second because I am, um, I am a trash bag. <laughs> so now that I have finished both eyes, I'm going to go off camera again and do my whole base. Oh God, what's going on here, why? The reason I'm doing that is because I'm doing a separate video for my base. If you want to see it, then just click. But yeah, if you want to see how I do the face, the rest of the face, then just click there, right? And then I'm gonna come back, do my lashes and my lipstick, and then I shall show you guys the finished look. So now that I have finished my base and my eyebrows, I'm going to do the bottom of my um, lid. I don't know what it's called, this part here, that part right there. I'm just gonna put the P. Louise base at the bottom just to give it something to stick to. And I don't know what colour I should take, I might do green, to be honest with you. I'm gonna go for this green right here. I'm just going to dip into it and do, 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 do all the way around. Next, I'm going to take this e.l.f. Um, I'm gonna take this e.l.f. Off Tropic Pro Liner. I don't know if y'all just saw that, but I just looked in the face of this product and still got it wrong. It is actually the NYX Off Tropic Pro Liner, and I use this for my waterline because it was too hard to record that part. I've literally never used this. I, bought, I saw it and I was like, oh my god, I need that. Never used it. Now I'm going to do my lipstick. I'm not really sure what colour to go for. Now I'm going to be taking this liquid lipstick from Matte Hysteria. And that's the brand. I can't really... Can you even see that? Come on. There we go. I got it from TK Maxx, it cost me like four quid and I think that's a banging deal that. It's like a, it's like a burnt orange colour. One thing I don't like about it though is that it's got no like, you know when you pull out a liquid lipstick and it, there's a scraper. There's no, there's none of that in this. I love that bloody colour, me. Bloody love this colour. I find that mm, these, those two, these two are the same brand. They both like transfer on your teeth really easily. That's why I, as soon as I put it on, I was like, just checking. 
just checking. <laughs> These lashes, no idea what brand they are, no idea about any of that. I could probably start keeping the boxes for my eyelashes, I know that. See how everything just gets knocked over when I start messing with stuff? It looks nice when you're not touching anything. But well, once you start touching shit, I'm just gonna let these lashes dry and then I'm going to come back once they have fully done their ting. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this um, concept of copying whatever headdress I'm wearing. I really like this look. I think it's just stunning and I wish I had somewhere to go so I could actually use it for something but... Thank you guys for watching, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment because honestly it helps me so much. Share with your friends, I don't mind. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day and a beautiful evening and thank you for watching. Bye!